Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. I realize I have the camera in a little bit of an angle, but at least you can see me as well as what I did to the hydraulic system on this tractor. So what you have is a 1979 Power King. It is a 1614 with the additional hydraulic that came with the tractor. I didn't like the way it was set up, so I changed the location of the lever control and I replaced some of the hoses on it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you if you'd like to do the same thing and how I went about doing it. Okay, first off, originally the tractor, as you know, has the hydraulic lever right underneath the seat, pretty much. And there's a bracket that runs underneath here. Well, in the future, I'd like to lower the seat a little bit and all that's gonna be in the way. Also too, when I extended the handle, on the hydraulic lever when I was wearing a long coat it was sometimes snagging on the lever I just didn't like the location so I decided that I'd put it up here in the middle of the tractor as if you would have an end loader on there it works a lot better it's more intuitive <clears throat> so we'll stay with this and I'll explain a little bit how I did this now when the lever the block mechanism this is actually pointing backwards and when you turn it around this way the one thing you're going to have to do is switch these two lines around so i the way i i did it was i went through and i marked all the lines with electrical tape colored electrical tape instead of numbering it and then that way i knew what went where this is a very basic system but i never really worked on one before so i wanted to make sure i didn't do anything wrong I went to my local farm and fleet store and I bought all my fittings. I went there and these hoses here are snowplow hoses and they work really well. I bought two types, one that has swivel on one end and not the other and another type of hose that didn't have swivels at all. And then I had to buy hydro the uh, hydraulic swivel ends to make the connections. And I bought a lot of brass connections and a couple black pipe. I decided not to use galvanized because they say galvanized is not recommended with hydraulic fluid. You could have a problem with that. Okay, so like I said, I turned this apparatus around and I just had some odd brackets. And then I just made this. There's a piece of angle, angled bracket. And I attached it where the toolbox used to be. And then I ran a, a piece right here to reinforce it a little bit right in the edge okay what else can i tell you about the system for the cylinder underneath and when i get done i'll, I'll take the camera off the tripod and i'll i'll show you too close up i had to get some street elbows because i didn't like the way the lines were going straight into the, the hydraulic cylinder that way they angled out i zip tied everything together um for the hydraulic tank i extended the the uh, fittings here so they're easy to access and easy to work on i did that the other side you can see that and in the future i'm going to add a hydraulic filter to it which is going to be on the other side where the battery box was originally located see i put the battery box in the back okay um, I think I'll take the camera off the tripod now. Switch. There you go. I'll go sideways. I know people say it's easier to view. Move the tripod out of the way. Okay. So, we'll start here. And this is the feed line. So it's coming off the pump. And I put this elbow in there. And I ran the pipe out. And I bought this short piece here. This was 12 inches. And then this ran into here. Now this here is blocked off because eventually I'm going to add another hydraulic lever right here off the fender to control my lift in the back. That way my lift 
is going to be independent of my snow plow. So these are the fittings I used. The fittings on this tractor are all NPT and they're one quarter or three eighths. Okay, so those, that's how I got it adapted to the hydraulic lever control. These swivels I reused. This is a snowplow line. And then these two here are going to the cylinder. And this one is the return to the tank. And it's looping around because on the other side, that's where my filter is going to be. Okay. Now we're at the tank. You can see the connections I used and the fittings I used. And this I did a T here because that's where the other return line is going to come in from the other hydraulic lever come in here that'll be the that's the extra feed this is the extra return I'll go underneath and you can see what I did to this cylinder down here I use street elbows I believe yep and I use bushings to adapt it and I used mostly the correct yellow pipe tape I ran out and I used a little bit of white up top because I wanted to get done this is the bracket that I made originally my toolbox is on here I'm going to move the toolbox probably a little bit over here Okay. Now go to the other side. And this is a line that goes into the pump. And it comes up right there. And this is another one of those snowplow lines here, and that's what's wrapping around. And I have this connected here with a coupler. Then I'm going to break that apart, and right here is where I'm going to put my hydraulic filter. I don't know if I need it or not. Originally they didn't come with one, but I'm going to put one on anyway. Okay. So if you have any questions how I routed it, leave them in the comments section.